On June 30th, 1966, Betty Friedan and a group of her colleagues met in her hotel room in Washington, D.C. to lay the groundwork for what became the National Organization for Women. They were at a conference of the National Commissions on the Status of Women, and although those commissions had shown that there was widespread sex discrimination, the rules of the com conference prohibited them from passing a resolution that would ask the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission to fight against that sex discrimination. And they thought that this was ridiculous, and they felt that they needed to create an organization that would work for sex discrimination and for the rights of women the way that the NAACP fought against racism and for African Americans. Four months later, in October, uh, this group of women plus some others met again to formalize the founding of, of NOW and to pass uh, a statement of purpose and bylaws. At the Jewish Women's Archive, we have a copy of the photo from that October meeting. And I love this picture because it doesn't really look like what you would think a group of uh, leading feminist activists might look like. These women are all middle-aged, wearing suits and pearls, and have very stiffly coiffed hair. But they were um, the leading feminist voices of their time. <laughs>